Hey, I'm coming at you today with a product review on a few lipsticks and chapsticks and lip glosses that I have. Now, this is my big bag of lips and lipsticks, lip liner, etc. Um, first things first, I um, kind of stopped using most of these lip glosses only because I experienced a breakout. My skin is somewhat sensitive and um, prone to break out easily from many lip glosses. Um, I guess I can't use them, so I have to actually buy MAC or buy uh, a name brand, or not really, not just any top name brand, but really MAC. MAC, I never break out from MAC, or I don't break out from MAC products at all. So, um, let me get to it. Hey, so here's all of my lip gloss, lipsticks, and lip balm. Well, actually, not all of them. I am missing, um, a lipstick from MAC, and I also believe a lip gloss from MAC, which I will so hard look for that. I will, um, which I will be dying to look for. So, let me tell you what we have. And I will do probably separate videos because it will be too long to talk about every single last lip gloss. But, um, here is the CoverGirl section. I uh, hope you can see that. I'll do separate videos on these, but here's the CoverGirl section. Now, CoverGirl lip glosses, they're very nice. But like I said, um, I kind of break out from a lot of drugstore brand um, products. So I have to stick with, like, MAC. MAC I don't break out from. Um... So here's a CoverGirl lip gloss. This one's very pretty. A lot of my stuff are pink. I really like pink lip glosses. Lipstick. I will definitely... This doesn't have a good focus. But I will definitely make separate videos about these. <clears throat> here's all my MAC. The MAC lip glosses. I have um, some Dazzle glasses here in the front. Sorry, my focus is bad. Um, cream sheen. So I have a bit of just about everything. Um, over here, Victoria's Secret. Now, I definitely break out from Victoria's Secret. I could only wear their lip glosses one day. Because if I wear it the second day, um, right back to back, I will break out the next day. Um, here are my two Revlon lipsticks. Here is my favorite by Estee Lauder. They do not make this anymore. They discontinued this one. This one, um, the product number is A A63 and this focus is bad again. But A63, I used to love this. I rock this lip gloss. Um, I rock this lipstick in high school for like two years straight up until they discontinued it. I don't know why they don't make this anymore. This, oh, it was so beautiful. If you guys can see the little teeny bit I had up. And it's like, not only was it beautiful, it smelled good. It smelled like, um, it had like a nice floral rose scent, like a rosary. A nice, um, floral rose scent to it. It smelled so good. They don't make it anymore. And it also had like a nice metallic, very pretty pink metallic color. Like a neon slash metallic. It was so beautiful. Um, here are some NYX that I get from the beauty supply store. Of course, I definitely break out from those. Here are a few um, NYCs. And I got these on a um, Walmart haul. Walmart was having a sale. I think I got every single last one of those for like a dollar. They were having a huge sale at Walmart. And um, I could only wear those like two days in a row. <laughs> and then I'll break out. 
Here's a collection from Bobby Brown that my mother gave me as a Christmas gift. Very nice, very nice. But um, I, I break out from these two. I can actually wear these um, probably about for three days straight, and then I'll break out. And I think it might just be because of the SPF. Maybe I'm allergic to that. And I don't know if maybe all of them have SPF. I'm not sure, but they say they have SPF, and maybe that's what I break out from. I'm not, I don't know. My Burnt and Bees. This is my favorite. Um, ever since I've been going natural, um, with my facial products and skincare, I've been hooked on Burst and Bees. Burst and Bees is my favorite. Here is a few L'Oreal. Only have two L'Oreal items. Here's a Neutrogena, um, and I ha also have a Neutrogena mascara. This is pretty good. Um, these are two Lacombe. Lacombe lip glosses that I love. I really love Lacombe. Between Burt's and Bees and Lacombe lip glosses, I love them. And here's a, a Carol's Daughter lip gloss that came out very nice. It's all natural lip gloss. I just, this is the only one I bought. They're, she's kind of expensive, but it's very nice. Beautiful color. Um, so, yeah. And then again, I'm missing one of my lip sticks from MAC. And the glosses, but I will do a separate video on all of these and show the color and give my review on all of these products. So, thanks for watching. Bye.